Hello everyone, welcome back to The Gaming Flow and in this video, we are going to talk about how to fix Armored Core 6 fires of Rubicon is having, crashing at startup, not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issue. So if you're having this particular issue, just follow these instructions. The first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. For doing a simple restart, we just need to go over here in this particular icon. Now go over here in this particular icon and go for a restart. Once go for restart, we just, we just need to try launch the game. So this is just a basic one. Sometimes it might work, sometimes it may not work because a simple restart is actually a fix. In most cases, we can try with a simple restart. If that is not working, we can move to the next step. Next step, most of us will be launching the game from the Steam. That is why we are having these kind of issues. Sometimes we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here, right click and we have to go to the properties. We have to go to the installed file. We just need to go over here, go to the browse that will take you as to a installation folder. If you check over here at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, armored core 6 fires of Rubicon. Now from here, we have to go to the game. Now from here, we just need to go over here and you can see this is the application. So right now, instead of launching the game from Steam, launch the game from the installation folder and it worked for many users, you can try this out. Next one is all about, we can try two more steps. Hence, we are in the installation folder, we can do this from here. That is all about, we just need to, uh, what we need to do is, we just need to run the game as an administrator. That is a very important step. So we need to run the game as an administrator. For this, we just need to go over here, right click, and we have to go to the show more options, and we have to go to the properties, go to the compatibility. Now make sure this will be blank. So select this, run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK. Next one, we have to try run the game in the compatibility mode. Go over here in the show more options, go to the properties, go to compatibility. Now run this in the compatibility mode and we have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. And we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to make sure we need to change the language to not sorry, not the change of the language. We have to make sure the date, time and region should be correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go to the settings. Now from here, we have to go to the time and language. Go to the date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be turned on. So if this is turned on, we have to turn this on as well. We have to turn on both and we have to go back and we need to go to the language and region. And here we have to select the uh, country based on the geography. We have to select the country. So if you are from United States, United States should be selected. If you are from United Kingdom, select United Kingdom. And once you set this up, you just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and it worked for many of the users in my knowledge. So just click on the play button and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. It worked for many users so you can try this out. Next one is all about apart from this we can try with the next one that is all about we need to delete the saved game file. For this we just need to go over here in the file explorer. We have to go to this PC. We have to go over here in this documents. And over here, you will be seeing many folders and you have to delete the respective folder. You have to delete one folder and uh, there will be a folder named on the game Armored Core 6 uh, Rubicons will be there. So just delete the folder and keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions of the game, but that is fine. Just delete it and once you delete it, you just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. We have to go for control panel. We have to go to system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to check. As you can see, the Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon is already added and we have to add it. So that is a very important step. And once you add it, you have to make sure this should be added. Once you add this, we just need to make sure the private and public should be added. So imagine if this is not added. So if the game is not here, we can add it by default. So many users end up in having the issue. So how to add it, just click on the change settings. Go for allow another app, go for browse. Now go to this PC, go to local disk C. So I'm having local, so all the games will be installed over here in the C. So just open C, go to program file x86. 
Keep scrolling down, navigate to Steam, go for Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to Armored Core, uh, this one, select this one and select the game and add it. So once you add it, it will be fine. So I'm getting the error because the game is already added. So if the game is not there, we can add it by default. So once you add this, just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game. If that is not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about, we have to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be connected with many peripherals, which is causing the crashing issue. So uh, that is even sometimes cause the crashing issue. So just remove everything from the USB ports. You have to remove everything from the USB port. Once you remove everything from the USB port, just launch the game because we need to unplug joystick, controllers, hotas, logitech wheels, etc. Whatever it is, just remove everything. Launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, we have to connect it back and try continue playing the game. This is what we have to do. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot. For this, we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the we need to go for a system configuration go to the system configuration go for services and we have to go over here in the disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok so they're going to ask you for restart so you can try with the restart and you can also exit without restart for restart for the users who are watching this you can go for a restart for those users who are watching who are not watching this they can go for exit without a restart once after this, just go back and we can try launching the game and that is what we have to do. Most probably when the uh, system configuration, when we perform a clean boot, it ended up for many of the users, the issues solve it out. So you can try this or you can keep a point on this. And also if still the issues there, we can try with the next one. That is all about, we need to, we need to do this. We just need to disable the steam overlay for we need to go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties. Go to over here, you can see enable the steam overlay while in game. This should be turned off and we have to launch the game. Most probably it worked for many users so you can try this out. And also you can try with the next step that giving the commands in the launch option. So you can give the command that is DX11. You can either give DX11, sorry. You can try with DX11. You can try with the DX11 as the first command. Let me type it once again. D dx11 this is the first command you can try with the dx11 or if dx11 is not working you can try with dx12 so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the things will be working fine so you can try with this so even the issue is still there you can try with the next step that is all about what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application for this we just need to go over here right click over here in the start and we have to go to the task manager now from here we can see over here and if you find the uh, if you find anything over here there are 41 background apps running so when you are launching the game at the same time what happens is it will be leading for the crashing issue so if you find this over here just select the respective one and we have to delete it so you have to delete it and uh, once you wanted to remove the unwanted things actually it's not deleting we're removing the unwanted things for example discord riva tuner msi afterburner all these are one of the main reason so just remove everything from here once you remove everything just close this and we have to go back and we need to try launch the game still the issues there we can try with the next one that is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the graphics settings now from here in the graphics settings, as you can see, I have already added the game. So if you don't know how to add the game, just click on the browse, go over here to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to steam over here, go to steam apps. Now from here, go to the common. Now from here, select armor code, go to the game, select this one and add it. So here I have already added the specify app is already added. So just go to over here, go to the options. As you can see, this is by default, it let Windows decide. We have to change this to high performance and go for save. And we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing, but we need to increase the virtual memory. For this, we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go to the view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced system settings, go to the settings over here, go to the advanced, go for change. And over here, as you can see, the automatically managing paging files fails. So if it is selected like this, we have to uncheck this. Go for custom size. Go for custom size over here. Set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the rotel RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the rotel RAM. So we need a calculator. So just go for a calculator. So just type your RAM. So 32 GB is the RAM. So just type your RAM 32 GB and multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49152. So just copy this and we have to paste it. Next one is all about we have to set the maximum size that is 32 GB into multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 
and we have to paste it. So now as you can see we have to go for ok, we have to set this up and we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game. That is what we have to do. For this one what we need to do is once you want to try with the increasing the virtual memory still it's not working we have to try with updating the graphics card so I'll be going over here in the description so if you can go over here we'll be able to find it. The Nvidia users I'll be providing both Nvidia as the AMD the Nvidia users can go over here and you can select every detail so like your product type, product series, product operating system etc. So if you're on Windows 11 select this one select every details over here and go for start search. And once you go for start search, as you can see, if you scroll down, you'll be able to find us. That if I, that is 1.13 and the released version is uh, this one. This is the latest version. So just click on this one, download and install and restart the PC and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here. And we have to go to the submit over here and go to the submit. And if you find Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 11. Windows 11 you have to download this one if you're on Windows 10 we have to download this one install and restart and try launch the game so once you're done with this one if the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is all about we have to go to increasing the uh, we need to install the Microsoft Visual C++ and we have to go over here and we need to keep scrolling down and over here you can see x86 is what it is just download this one install a restart is a mandatory and if the uh, it is on x64 you can download this restart restart is what it is you can download this if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one and restart is a mandatory and try launch the game once you're done with this one, once all one done with this one, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to update the window. So just go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings. We have to go over here in the Windows update and we have to update the windows. That is what we have to do. So just update the windows. That's what we have to do. Once you update the windows, we just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game. Next one is all about we need to try with the next one. There is two steps which is remain very important. That is one is verify integrity of game file. For this, we just need to go over here, right click and we have to go to the properties, go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So this has to be reached hundred percent. So we'll be getting the play button once again. So let me wait for this. So uh, once you're done with this one, I'll be showing you what to do next.
So once it is successfully validated, as you can see, 673 files are successfully validated, which means it cross check everything and we have to try launching the game. Last and the least one is all about, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. For this, we just need to go over here, right click and we have to go and manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, we have to go over here. We have to go to this PC and we have to and it's uh, for reinstalling if the game is on C and you're installing it back on C is not going to work. So change. So I'm having only one that is the issue. But for you, you'll be having multiple local disks. So try installing from uninstalled one to a new one and it will be working fine. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.